Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Peter. Today we are making the Game of Thrones Joffrey's End. Now, if any of you watched season four of Game of Thrones, around about the second second episode, you see exactly what this is about. Because Joffrey, spoiler alert, Joffrey dies. And that's actually one thing I was, I was kind of happy to see. Because if you watch the series, you know how annoying, how hated that character is. And he's out of the picture. He's done. No more of his turn. He's gone. Now this is actually going to be kind of based off like a wine idea. Hence why I'm using the creme de cassis. The creme de cassis is a current, so you're using that grape flavor to it. So you get a lot of the different notes to it. This is actually be a shaking strain to show how it's made. First thing you want to do is take your, your rum. That's going to be a one ounce. Then you want to take an ounce and a half of your creme de cassis. And this is basically what's going to give you your wine idea, because that's actually what he died from. A poison in his wine, which basically was a wash down of pigeon pie. Which sounds kind of nasty, but yeah. Then you have your Capari, which sounds even nastier. You're only going with a quarter ounce of that. Because this is going to give it a bite, and you don't want to add that much Capari. I gotta use it somehow or another. Take about three ounces of cranberry. dash of aromatic bitters. So add a little bit more flavor to that overall cocktail. You want to add ice? Take a strain. into your wine glass. There you have it. Game of Thrones, Joffrey's End Cocktail. Now, obviously the reason why I use a wine glass because once you drink wine, grab his chalice, the current flavor of the creme de cassis, that gives it a lot of that wine notes and everything. The bitterness of the Campari is the poison that he does get. And you have your rum and everything helps to balance out that flavor a little more. See so yeah, how it tastes. It's good. It does have a very good sweet flavor to it. I mean, this is helping that a lot as far as the sweetness. But you're getting this. And you're getting a lot of notes from that. From the bitters. A lot of cranberry bite. So it's something you're getting a bit of a dryness to it because if you actually watch that episode, he kept saying, give me wine, my pie is a little dry. He drinks this down, it's going to make him more dry, make him choke. It's the idea of a poison. When you're drinking it, you're getting drier and drier, but it tastes pretty damn good. Which is a lot like that episode. That is really good. But it definitely has that bite bitterness, the sour aspects you get with the Campari. The cranberry, it offers a lot of dryness to the mouth. So you may drink this and at the end you're probably going to want to drink some more because it's just going to make you that parched. But it's something that's going to be very flavorful. It's something that it's not very potent as far as alcohol content. You're not really tasting it. You're getting, this is low ABV, then you get your rum, that's your higher proof. Campari, I believe it's 30 proof. 
or 30 percent rather oh only 24 24 percent so it's really not that much so you're getting this is your primary alcohol it's pretty potent or pretty mild but it's actually really good and i hope you like this cocktail and definitely gotta try it out if you've seen that episode and if you're as happy to see him go as i was let me know in the comments below i love to hear your input and definitely like us on spirit Facebook comments on Spirit Cocktails, subscribe to our channel, and always drink responsibly.